good afternoon. It's not even good morning. It's good afternoon. It's 714 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday with uh, DJ Wonder Chrissy here at Land Cruiser Midwest. Yeah, yeah, we are. We got a good show for you today. We're going to hear from Dan Bongino and see what he's got to say about the Secret Service. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you've been following what's happening. The incident, they call it an incident. Yesterday, yesterday, if you haven't been hiding in a hole somewhere, you heard about the incident that happened yesterday. I saw it happen pretty much live on TV and was blown away. Blown away for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll uh, get going here with the show. Let me bring the music down because that's what the DJ does. We got To the Top by Silent Partner from the YouTube Audio Library. So there you go. Once again, I said this is DJ Wonder Chrissy Land Cruiser Midwest. And uh, we're here and we got the bell. It's a bell ringing day. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, we need to we need to say some more prayers. We need to um, say God bless, God bless. Oh man, God bless God and God bless Donald Trump. We used to say that a lot, and they would cut it out of my videos. But uh, we're definitely God. Donald Trump is blessed, folks, to say the least. Um, my opinion. I don't know if you saw what happened yesterday. If you watched any of the the coverage yesterday, Secret Service was nowhere to be found. SOS, they were uh, S shit out of luck, you know. They were nowhere to be found when it came to um, the, the the news conference yesterday. And they, the, 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 the sad part is they were the ones that were in charge of security at that rally yesterday. Just like they're in charge of the security in Milwaukee, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But I wanted to play. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, a military. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, police. But uh, we're gonna, we're gonna bring you a guy who is ex-military or ex, ex uh, secret service and ex-police, and he's gonna give you an official rendering of how he sees it and the failures definitely there's a lot of people calling for failures of the secret service and and what happened yesterday and he's going to talk about that in just in a minute so here we go like share and subscribe if you would folks this is the dj this is migrant mayhem we're giving you some special special trump rally coverage today so let's go ahead and see what Dan Bongino had. He's, this is the first time he's been on Fox in a long time, guys. I don't know if you guys are into Dan Bongino. He's ex-Barack uh, Obama and I think Trump um, Secret Service guy. So um, let's see what he's got to say. From your military experience is, is not a success. I say that because the Secret Service spokesman seeming to take some kind of a like a victory lap here that they added resources is is quite bizarre and i can tell you and i can confirm on your airways absolutely on my honor and integrity that what he's saying from a macro picture maybe from a micro picture pete in other words about that specific site maybe he's pigeonholing the truth but the macro picture about multiple requests for a larger security footprint around Donald Trump due to the enhanced threat level, that is absolutely categorically false. I would never say this on your airwaves, on my show, or anywhere else. I know it from people directly involved. I, I could give you direct quotes from the... So transparency, right? We talk about a lot of times here on this channel about transparency of government city government, federal government, and um, not a lot of transparency when it comes to the Secret Service. I just watched a, a news uh, a news media thing from them today out of Milwaukee, and they just pretty much walked out after answering a couple of questions. So uh, 
Uh, not a lot of transparency when it comes to the Secret Service. Failed Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle herself, when they were asked about Mar-a-Lago security being enhanced, I can tell you direct quotes where she not only rebuffed it, but mocked it, saying things like, I don't secure nightclubs. This happened. Now, I'm going to tell you something. They better be very careful about what they say in the coming days, because there are people out there who know. They, I know they know because they told me. They know absolutely that. So, so this is how. Oh. Uh, so to the former president. Do you know the U.S. Solar Company's nasty little secret? It turns out if you live in Illinois, they have. 30 yards. Say it was 200 yards. The Secret Service CS team, Pete, the counter sniper team, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure those two guys are Secret Service. We have to remember that we don't always, when we go to New York sometimes with high level protectees, we'll use NYPD ESU counter sniper. So I'm not really sure they, either way, they'd still be briefed in. The question we have to ask is if that's the best. Let's say that those sniper guys did a pretty decent job, but they were just a little too late. The guy got on that roof, and they should have had him under, they should have taken him out probably 20, 30 seconds ahead. Um, but they definitely, when it came time to put it on on the, on the uh, person, they definitely put it on the person. I don't know if you saw the video of, of what the result was. And, and, when, and then let me also tell you, these snipers, they don't go for like a, a body shot. They go to the head. They take off your head basically, or put a put a round into your brain to stop the threat. And that's what they did. Technology we have, and we had a CS team up there with a shooter that you know we're trained out to a thousand yards in the Secret Service with the counter sniper team. How did they miss some? This guy was within 150 yards, and that's what's got everybody so hot and bothered they 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 failed to take out the threat and um and the threat was able to get off five or six rounds at least at least one uh, at, at, at at most you know one fifth of the way there it doesn't make any sense and, and and even worse it's broad daylight on a white roof so again open questions here was there forward-looking inter infrared deployed uh, was there aerial support, drones, helicopters? Uh, you know there was no drones to be, to be to speak of, folks, and they're coming up with excuses on why there wasn't, and uh, lots of lots of questions, very few answers from the Secret Service. And as I said before, they uh, failed to even show up to the to the news conference last night, which doesn't give anybody the warm and fuzzies. And now they're now they're responsible for protecting the RNC. Yeah, how do you feel about that, folks? Comment down below what you think of the Secret Service. You know, something happened to you. If you go back and listen to the audio, I want you to listen to this um, after I get off here. When Donald Trump, after this tragic thing happens, you'll see the Secret Service agents. And by the way, I know some of those guys personally. I want. It takes a lot to run into bullets and divorcing the security thing. So. At least they did that part, you know, correctly, and they knew what they were doing uh, after the security absolutely failed. But you're going to hear something if you listen closely. The, the guy mentions Hawkeye on the scene. He's talking about those two, uh, the black BDU with the tactical gear CAT element, that two-man CAT element. That stands for counter-assault team. That's a Secret Service special weapons team, a, a, equivalent to our SWAT. So they're there. They all deployed and did what had to be done after the security failed. But having said that, there was no reason for them to have to do that. There's only one entity out there that saved Donald Trump's life yesterday, and it pains me to tell you guys. This is the sad part, folks. Listen, it's coming from Dan. Dan, has, he's an expert. He is ex-secret service. So listen to what Dan has to say and take it to heart. And you know what that is? It's Donald Trump. If he moves his head an inch to the left or right, guys, this is a really different